Sag, welcome to your reading, Sagittarius, uh, your weekly reading for the week of um, August 15th to the 21st. Um, this will be your weekly reading. Uh, if you want to skip ahead, you don't want to hear me ramble, you can click on the video itself for the timestamps. Um, we're just going to get started. Uh, what is the theme of the week for Sag? I feel like uh, there's a matter where there's a matter I feel like you're going through where someone expects you, someone expected you to kind of be rowdy or be loud or reactive. And I feel like you're very calm, Sag. Um, it's like, I don't know, you take some kind of news calmly or you take it with a grain of salt or you just don't respond or react the way someone thinks that you will react. I don't know if someone thinks that you're reactive or if some news is just crazy where someone like, how could anybody be calm? But I feel like you take, you take the news surprisingly well. I feel like someone did not expect this for you to be so calm, for you to actually be all right. <laughs> What's the theme of the week of August 15th, the 21st for Sag? I don't know if you're wondering if it's not you that's calm this week, it could be you delivering crazy news to someone else. And I feel like they take it well, like they handle it fine. Someone someone handles it, opportunity. Uh, I feel like it's because of someone's perspective. Maybe they look at something as an opportunity as opposed to like, you know, something negative. Opportunity and abundance. Maybe someone sees this as, as an opportunity to be abundant. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, for some of you guys, I'm hearing a uh, Gemini as well. Abundance. Someone's name could start with the letter A. I'm paying attention to that. Abundance and opportunity. It's like someone sees like whatever news gets delivered to either you or someone else, uh, they see that there's an opportunity after the fact. Like, yeah, this is bad right now, but like, look what we could have after. Like, yeah, it sucks right now. Like, yeah, this is terrible, but the after effects are going to be so rewarding. So like, or what happens next? I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So like, yeah, this situation is shit, but you know, look what we got to look forward to. Like, look to the future or look ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to clarify this card. I'm going to, um. I'm gonna look it up because I keep paying attention to the A, like the abundance, the, the letter A. Hold on. Abundance. Okay. Someone could buy a new car soon. I feel like uh, someone is very abundant or maybe your mind is expanding to see more abundance in things. Um, everything is blossoming in life. Open yourself up to receive. Abundance, fulfillment, and prosperity are ready to be activated in your life. Life, uh, life desires you to prosper. You are moving towards an outpouring of money, energy, time, or love. Opportunities are limitless. We literally have opportunity right here. Opportunities are limitless. However, you must take action in the direction of your dreams. Don't wait for abundance to fall into your lap. Take steps. Give deeply and fully. Don't hold back. This card reveals that it is a great time to make investments. The more you give with a free and open heart, the more you will receive. Be grateful for what you already have and even more will flow to you. Some of you guys are adopting an abundance mentality. I don't know if you guys are trying to change your minds. It's, it's I feel like for some of you, it's either that you're dealing with someone that's really abundant and really skilled, like they're very, they're very in control of their mind, or um, you guys are trying to change your mindset to like adjust to an abundance mentality. I don't know if some of you guys are trying to switch jobs or what or something, but there's something here about like focusing on abundance. Um, there's a lot of opportunity. I feel like there's also something sad here. Oh my gosh, this card is just flying about handling a situation with grace. I'm going to actually put that for you. Don't hold back. I like that. Don't hold back. Who's calling me? I don't know who this is. There's something here about uh, handling a situation with grace. Okay. Abundance. Having an abundance mentality. I'm getting something about like grapes. Um, like something is hard now, but it'll be so rewarding. Okay, uh, what should where should uh, Sagittarius direct their focus for the week of August fifteenth to the twenty first? I'm getting something here about like getting better or getting back to yourself again. So like I'm getting Empress vibes, like self care, pampering, nurturing, you know, taking care of yourself. I'm getting like under eye bags. Okay, I'm getting like focus on, uh, and I'm also getting like focus on the task at hand. You know, make sure that you're good before you focus on others, like making sure that you're good, that you've, you're fed or that you're, you're well slept. Um, yeah. So I feel like, you know, nurturing your own needs before others first, where should uh, Sagittarius direct their focus for the week of August 15th, to the 21st. Okay. We got door to value. Oh, I, I feel like, Oh, sad. I feel like someone's got a crush on you. 
This could be regarding your finances. I'm getting your money or your finances are like kind of getting mixed in together this week. I'm getting door to value. Uh, someone truly values you and someone here is super romantic. Tell me about this. This could be a Taurus. And also if you're looking for a new job, I feel like a new job is in the works for you. Or, I mean, the abundance card said like, don't hold back, like go for it. So, you know, if you want to find a job, don't just wait for it to fall in your lap, like go looking, but you will find, like, I feel like you'll find what you're looking for. I feel like somebody's got a crush on you and it has something to do with money, man, or whatever job you do, whatever work you do, someone's got a crush. This person's a fiend. Somehow I'm getting Taurus strong. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Someone's got a crush on you. I'm getting something here about like long blonde hair or like a long black hair. Hold on, let me see, 38. Someone finds you super attractive and someone finds you very wise. Okay, I think this is the heart chakra, right? I think this is the heart chakra, the fourth. Okay, and someone's very forthcoming with their emotions. They may reveal something to you. Um, Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. This card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to, it, to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. I feel like a sad someone is taking the place of someone else that broke your heart. Like you're getting the replacement now. Like, you know how like you wait for a replacement part to come in. I feel like this is the replacement. Like this person will, will mend whatever someone else broke. Not that it's someone's job to mend another person's heart, but as in like, you know, whatever gap this person left, you can only do so much to fill it up. And then this person helps you fill in the rest. I'm getting like this person fills in the blanks. Like I'm getting like, think of me as just a little helpful friend. Okay, just to here to help you out. It's kind of what I'm getting. Uh, this card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. Oh, wow. Someone could want to take you out. I was getting movie theaters for, uh, for a Scorpio and I'm getting it for you. So I don't know if this is a Scorpio. I also feel like, uh, Sag, someone wants to, someone wants to take you on like a movie date to the movies, dinner date. And I'm also getting something about like skinny dipping or is somebody like skinny or there's something here about like skinny, something skinnies. I don't know. If they, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not getting like size. I'm getting like that could be the name of a place. Skinnies. Or do they like to wear like skinny jeans or straight jeans? Or does somebody like um, slim gyms? Like I'm getting something here about like, it's not necessarily the waist. I mean, someone could be shaped skinny, but I'm getting skinny as in like that. That's how you'll identify them, like what they like to eat, Slim Jims, like their skinny sticks of beef, okay, beef jerky. Uh, I don't know, that's random, but I'm, I'm, that may be for someone, I don't know. Okay, um, let's move on to, someone called me, I don't know who it was, I'll call them back after. It's like when I'm busy, people want to blow me up, right? You, you ever notice that? Or is that just me? I feel like y'all know. Okay, let's move on to your challenge. What will be the challenge for, uh, what will be the challenge for Sag August 15th to the 21st? What will be the challenge? Page of Wands. Okay, I'm getting it could be someone's age. I'm hearing someone's like, um, maybe like 60 or 50. I, I don't know if you're 60 or 50 or maybe someone's age, per, you know, is a challenge for somebody. I don't know if the, there could be a difference in it. So this feels like a love, this feels like a week of love for you guys, Sag. But we're, we have other parts of the spread, but we'll see. I feel like someone's age is going to be an issue because maybe they're either older than you, maybe they're too old for you or younger than you, too young for you. Um, Page of Wands, like maybe you look at somebody like your grandfather or your grandma or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe you think that someone's way too young or you look at someone like a child, like a, like a little elementary school person, like you're so young, my God. I don't know. There's, there's like a def definitely a difference in ages. What is this? for the challenge for Sag, August 15th to the 21st. It's kind of like getting over something. Like there's like the initial shock before you kind of get used to it. So I feel like you're still in the stages of like shock. Like I cannot believe this. Okay, Page of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, the, being with someone is gonna require you to leave certain ideologies that you take with you behind. Like you, if you're gonna wanna be with somebody, you gotta stop thinking that all people are like this or all of them are this way, or you know, you're gonna have to, you're going to have to kind of, for some of you guys, I feel like 
I'm not, I'm not even trying to call you out. I feel like some of you guys are going to have to educate yourself or, you know, someone's going to have to educate themselves. Cause it's like what you believe to be true is not true at all. Like, uh, once you get over the initial shock of like an age gap, cause it's like, maybe you think like once you turn this age or, you know, once, you know, I don't know what you think is not the case here. Like it's, it's not, it's not all that it seems. Everything's not as it seems. Okay, like maybe you think once you get to this age, like that means you're going to be old and decrepit or something. And it's like, no, like this person's actually more fit than you. I feel like someone is not the stereotype of like what you're supposed to look like at a certain age or what you're supposed to act like. Like this is very unorthodox, it's very unique. Um, so, you know, whatever, whatever traditional things that you had in mind, like you got to kind of get over those hurdles. And if you want something to work, you got to you got to move past something. Otherwise, it doesn't have a chance to survive. You have to, um, I mean, you shouldn't have an issue with this. You're sad. You're, you're literally like the bigger picture. So I, I think um, you just have to expand your, your perspective, like see, see the bigger picture. Now, this could be someone regarding you, like some, something can work if they can get past this, like that it's not all about age or it's not all about that. Like, um, yeah, because I don't know, I don't know what someone thinks. Like, it's like, like, let's say you're older than somebody, somebody may think, oh, once you get to Sag's age, you know, this is the case or blah, blah, blah. Like, I feel like they're wrong and they have to, someone has to allow themselves to be a student again and, and be school. Like, no, you're uneducated. That's actually incorrect. This happens once you get to this age or it's different for everybody. So I feel like you guys are learning each other. There, there's definitely a learning curve somewhere. It's a big learning curve. Okay. It's a big age gap or big gap. Okay, learn. Yeah, three of pentacles can represent an, an apprenticeship. It's about someone's readiness or willingness willingness to learn. Okay, are you willing to be a student again? Go back to school and learn. Are you willing to let me be your teacher, Hemi? Let me be your professor. Let me profess my love and my teachings. To you, para tu. Okay, um, what you got for it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for Sag in general? August 15th to the 21st. Oh, I should have clarified who is this. Um, well, I think you would know. There's definitely an age gap. Okay, I'm, and I was getting Taurus. Um, I think I was descriptive enough. Okay, what do you got for um, Sag in general? August 15th to the 21st. Sagittarius in general. So you guys could be dealing with an army general. I don't know why I'm getting something about like... Uh, 15, 2015 or 2017. I don't know if someone's like 15 or 17 or I hope not 15. If this is like a love reading, I hope that this is legal. Um, if someone was born on the 15th, page of swords, someone needs to get over something, man. I don't know if there's like a 15 year age gap or I don't, I don't know what this, I just feel like someone needs to get over this. Like it's, it's not page of swords. Like it's like maybe everyone else has moved on from something and there's like one person that's still stuck on it. Like, dude, move on. Like we're past that now. I don't know what this, what is this for? Um, for Sag? I'm hearing we're all adults here. Like no need to get, no need to get your panties in a bunch or no need to get something. <laughs> Who is this for Sag? Who is this? Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who is this for Sag? Who is this in general? August 15th to the 21st. Like I'm getting, we're all adults. Like no need to act like, no need to act like this. Page of Swords, the Empress. For some of this could be a Gemini. Again, we're all adults here, buddy. Like no need to bring something up or no need to like, you know, act, act all weird or act all hesitant. Like, you know, you know, uh, we have a lot of stuff about like children here i'm not gonna i'm not going to refute the message that someone could be a pervert here just because i'm not saying that this person is but there's an overwhelming amount of evidence that points to someone trying to justify dating children so that's 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 a separate message i'm not going to ignore that just because we have a lot of kids here we have the page of wands we have the page of swords these are these are the youngest in the deck okay page of swords the empress is literally a this literally represents like being pregnant with children, a child with child um, could be, it's, it's also like security, confidence, all that uh, womanhood, but I'm not going to ignore that. Um, so just, just be mindful. Like if someone starts justifying something, then kind of run that. That's a separate message though, but let's see, what is this for? Um, 
okay for some of you guys where you're the older one here some young person could be trying to justify why you guys should be together and it's like you're not into that it's like they want you to be some kind of milf or whatever you like deal or something i don't know like they want you to be like like they're like yeah i'm only this age but like i got all this so it's like well, okay what, what is that supposed to do for me i, I don't I, I don't know maybe you're not attracted to somebody but somebody's attracted to you i feel like you're kind of disgusted by something <laughs> What is this for sad? What is this? They're like, yeah, I'm I'm 12, but or okay, let me not even say 12 because I'm I was, that's gonna make me sound weird. Yeah, I'm like 18. I'm only 18, but I I gotta you know I act like I'm I act like I'm 37. Like what? Like I feel like somebody's like, come on, man. Like it's like that's not. Even, ugh, I feel like something does not appeal to you. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on to your love messages. Page of Swords, the Empress. I feel like, honestly, um, some of you guys could have Taurus in your chart. I feel like someone's just trying to impress you. Okay, they're trying to impress you with what they know, and it's like they're doing it too much. It's coming off as insincere, or it's coming off as like you're trying too hard. Like someone, this is like someone trying too hard to be an adult, or someone's trying too hard to be a child. There's like. I don't know what this is it's like the someone that wants to be cool and hip so bad that they, they start wearing stuff that's too small for them like you like someone looks silly i feel like this this thing this persona that somebody has it doesn't fit them like act your age or i don't know man like i'm getting someone wears clothes that are like too tight you know and it's like you know everybody can see it i feel like <laughs> uh it's like wearing a shirt, wearing a shirt that's like too short. Like, you know, you, you put it in the dryer too much. Like someone needs to like start acting right. You're still wearing the same stuff he was wearing from high school. And it's like, you clearly have grown out of it. Like change your socks or change your shoes, like change, you know, like, you know, change your personality. Stop, you know, I don't know if they do like a little boy or a little girl voice. Like, eh, 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 eh. Like I, it's like I, I don't know what I don't know, man. Someone could have like a mental thing actually, where mentally they are, like they are younger. They haven't. I feel like someone's like stuck in like the seventies, the eighties, or the nineties. Someone's like stuck back there. They haven't aged since that point. I don't know if something traumatic happened to someone. Oh, uh. page of swords. I'm getting strong Gemini. I'm getting strong Gemini with this page of swords, but it could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, let's move on to your love messages. What do you got for Sag regarding their love life? What do you got for Sag regarding their love life? Like, you know, okay, one more message. Someone could be of age, but it's like, it feels wrong. Like, it feels like you're being perverted. Like, you may feel like you're being a... Okay, okay. Because <laughs> some of y'all are going to be like, what? I would never feel that way. So... I'm just going to say this. Some of you guys could feel like someone here could be of age, but like they act like such a young child where you feel like doing anything with them would be considered doing something with a child. Like you just act so like, I don't know if you're wondering if someone's mentally there, like how old are you or, you know, are you mentally okay? Like, you know, like they could be of age, but like they still dress like, like this is not appropriate. So like you can't even do anything with this. Cause it's like, you, you know, it feels like it doesn't matter what you got to offer. Like you, you see, you act young or you act too, like I, it will feel like I'm doing something with a child. Like, you know, I, I just feel like something kind of makes you uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to go there with you. <laughs> what do you got for Sag regarding their love life? Okay, three of pentacles. I feel like Sag, you're looking for someone responsible. I feel like you need someone responsible. This person, I don't think they take care of themselves or they don't know how to look after themselves. Like someone here could literally be looking for a mommy and a partner or a daddy and a partner. Like they're looking for a mom or a dad, someone to be their mom or their dad as like a boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife. And it's like, listen, dude, or listen, man, woman, sir, man, lady, please. Like so someone may vent to you. They just want you to listen to them. It's like... I don't know, this is like someone's looking for something and I feel like they're trying to find that in you. And it's like, I'm not that for you. Like, I'm not going to be that. I'm not going to be someone's mom or dad. I'm not going to be that for nobody. Like, um, un unless it was my own kids. Or, you know, I just, I just feel like, I, I don't know what someone's looking for. 
anyways, I feel like you need someone stable, more stable than a person. This person is giving um wonky. Okay, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, wonky. Wonka Wonka. Three of Pentacles. What is this for? Um, Sag, their love life. August 15th to the 24th. I feel like you're wondering, like, what do you bring to the table? For some of this could be a Capricorn, because we got the Three of Pentacles. That's a deacon of Capricorn. It could be a Gemini. Um, I was about to say Virgo as well. It could be a Virgo. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Uh, I feel like someone needs to grow up. I feel like someone needs to kind of grow up. Someone has a lot of growing to, <clears throat> someone has a lot of growing to do. And I, I feel like, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I can't wait for you while you grow up, dude. Like, I'm like, what do you think I am? I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. I just feel like, <laughs> man, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this does probably not resonate with nobody. Um, all right, let's just move on to your money. Let's just move on to your money. All right. What do you got for Sag regarding their money and their finances? Ace of Pentacles. Someone could offer you some. I, oh, I said Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups came out. So that that's that that, that slip up was probably purposeful. I feel like someone's going to offer you more money. I'm getting something here about like <clears throat> dip, dipping into like a college fund or a college, a college thing. Um, I feel like you're going to save up for something. There could be someone that helps you save up for something. I don't know if they literally give you money or they just... They're a good financial advisor. They can tell you like what to what to look out for. This is like the stock market. They tell you like what the dips mean. Like this is someone that can educate you. I feel like someone is um very efficient and very educated in their field. Like they know this could be like an expert. Ace of Cups. I'm hearing the name Bob or Barbara. I don't know if they have like a business like Bob's, whatever. Bob's Consulting. Barbara's whatever. Like I feel like they have like the title of a business. Okay, for somehow this could be an Aries, because I don't know, this looked like a ram to me, the horn, the horns of a ram. But I'm getting Aqu Aquarius. Someone here has their own business, entrepreneur. What is this for Sag regarding their money? August 15th to the 21st, Ace of Cups, King of Swords. Um, the son. Someone could be doing something for a child, like for their son, or they could be doing something for the future. I feel like things are going to look up for you if where finances are concerned. I feel like things are going to look up for you. Like, I feel like, Sag, you are in you are in communication. If you're not in communication with the right people now, you will be. Like, you will find them, the right people to, like, give you the right answers on how to grow something or how to get more. I feel like you're going to you're gonna get into touch with, like, the, the King of Swords reminds me of, like, a genius. Okay, an expert. The King and the Queen of Swords are, like, my expert cards. They don't always represent that, but you know, he knows what he's talking about. You know, you, you, you can trust him, this or her, or whatever. But yeah, I feel like, you know, you finally you're finally making some headway. Okay. Mm. Okay, but yeah, that's what I got for you, Sag. Um, I hope this reading helped you in some way. Uh, I hope it resonated, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye guys.